Hi there, welcome back. So, have you ever been into a situation where you just try to browse on your software browser, but you get this, cannot verify server identity on iPhone. So if you ever encountered this problem, well, in today's video, I'll show you exactly how you can solve this problem and never face this cannot verify server identity ever again. So let's go. There are a couple of things that you guys really, really want to take a look at before you solve the problems. First, you have to head over to settings on iPhone, then scroll down to the bottom and select apps. So from here, you need to type Safari browser. Now, tap Safari here, then scroll down to the bottom and select advanced. Here, you can see there's an option called website data. So whenever you pick up or get the cache and cookies from a faulty website, you might encounter the same problem. So always you want to check out this option called remove wall website data and remove it from now. After that, simply get out of here and now simply select this option called clear history and website data. Now what, what this will do, it will clear out all the, you know, uh, spooky or this will remove all the spooky or unwanted viruses that might be received on your software browser cache and cookies. So after that, one more time, I want you guys to go to the advanced and here, you want to enable this option called advanced tracking and fingerprint option make sure to select all browsing here now get out of here simply get out of here and restart your iphone now trust me guys this is how it actually work and after that your problem is going to be solved almost immediately now go take a look at your problems let's say i've done it but still you have got the same problems the next thing that we are going to take a look at some few very important settings on the software browser itself first let's go to the settings again and go to the app go to the same spot type software here select safari and now you have to scroll down here and select extension if you are using any extension or let's say if you are not using an extension for example then i highly recommend you guys try to use the ad blocking extension what this will do this will block the unwanted pop-up that might come from your website so you can of course come here and tap more extension it will take you to the you know uh, app store and you can see there are a bunch of uh, extensions available so get the free one that is uh, available for yourself and then just like me i actually got this for example it's free and i'm using it on my iphone after that you want to just get out of here and now you want to come over here and always make sure this um, fraudulent website warning should be enabled on your browsers. So right after that, simply get out of here and open up your settings again. Scroll down, tap screen time, scroll down, tap content and privacy restrictions here. You always want to check out these settings. Make sure to just disable the content and privacy restrictions on your iPhone. Now take a look at your problem and see what happens. So after following all of that, I can tell you guys your problem is going to be solved. However, if there's still a problem, last thing that you guys really want to take a look at, you got to go to settings, scroll down to general, and then tap software update. Sometime updating the new software OS can actually remove some minor bugs or glitches. So you always want to check out the new update. If it's available, go and update it. If it's not, then you want to go back and scroll down and select transfer and reset iPhone, tap reset and select reset all settings. I know this is sometime it might be a little hassle, but if none of those work, this is the last option that you guys can choose. But if you let's say if you already solved your problem, you don't have to do this process to be honest. So these are the ways that you guys can actually follow on your iPhone to solve that cannot verify server identity problems on iPhone software browser. Still have question, please let me know in the comment section guys. See you all around.